Ja, oh yes, det här måste vi se. Uh, Kira är en rätt bra kanal om ni vill följa lite kryptonyheter. Nu, det här måste vi se. Uh, I've been back. Det kan vi, det, det, det kan vi, det, det kan vi säga det. Nu, nu är det ändå byter ämne. Um. <hör> Så, USA har länge nu, och jag har tagit upp det ett par gånger i kanalen här, uh, länge nu gått stenhårt efter uh, kryptoscans. Uh, uh, mellan att uh, raida Donald Trumps hem och eh, skicka folk som var med på den 6 januari i, i fängelset så eh, har man lagt skitstora resurser på att eh, plocka ner kryptoscans. Eh, ja, men vi ska kolla på det här. För då för USA har gått hårt mot kryptoscans nu. Eh, och, det, och det beror ju på alla youtubers och sådana här som har gjort coins och liksom gör, gjort så kallade rug pulls. Så man har ju märkt att folk förlorar i pengar i mängder. Alltså. Eh, än så länge så är inte krypt, kryptomarknaden så stor i Sverige. Så jag har inte sett några riktiga sådana svenska scams som på riktigt har liksom lyckats. Och att, absolut inte de mängderna, mängden pengar vi pratar om här. Eh, så USA har bestämt sig för att göra en crackdown och eh, det, det, det är också så här, det är ganska viktigt att anledningen till att de har gjort sådana här scams det är för att de tror att krypt, kryptovaluta på något sätt inte faller under de finansiella lagarna som USA har, vilket det absolut gör. Det är liksom du, du kan inte, du kan inte alltså amerikansk lag kan vara löjligt specifik i sin i, i liksom lagtexten men eftersom du agerar som ett finansiellt system så går det givetvis att applicera de lagarna som redan finns. Det är bara det att myndigheterna inte riktigt har hunnit med. Och nu sker det saker. Hej San- San- Hej Kalle Valik. Tack Sunshine Jonas. <laughs> Ja, det var Alex i Lund som går bort det. Tack Alex, du är fin. Men i alla fall, vi kollar vad det här fallet handlar om. Banging on Tornado Cash for about a year now in my videos and it's finally happened. US Treasury sh- sanctions notorious virtual currency mixer Tornado Cash. We don't know what Tornado Cash is. Think about like all of the things that people and cartels and criminals have had to do to launder money over the years and then remove all the difficulty and just essentially have a literal money laundering machine that you just throw crypto in and it precis för eftersom krypto hela tiden har sagt att de inte har banker vilket de absolut har de kallar det för exchanges typ men eh, då har du också tornado cash och det är ju så här att eftersom krypto är 100% spårbart genom the blockchain som du har eh, som du har någons wallet så kan du ju se alla transaktioner till andra wallets. Du kanske inte kan se vem det är som äger vilken wallet men du kan liksom spåra transaktionerna. Och Tornado är precis som man säger. Det är att du skickar en transaktion till Tornado Cash och sen så skickar den ut en an- typ en annan kryptovaluta kanske. Vilket gör att från Tornado till den nya walleten kan man inte spåra från den walleten som är före. Så det blir som en... Som man skjuter, som man skjuter med en hagelbass ungefär i spridning där. Och det är jättevanligt. Och därför därför har krypto dudes trott att det här är helt lagligt att göra. Vilket absolut inte är. Givetvis är det inte lagligt att smussla iväg pengar på det sättet and then wait a little bit and then take it out on the other side and you just got fresh crypto it's basically what it is it's it's super easy and from the people i've spoken to which has ranged from people that have used it to people who have built a lot of you know oh, the decentralized yeah, finance you know. space and stuff like that some really big players in the uh in the crypto industry nobody can give me a reason as to why you would use tornado cash unless you are a criminal because the only <laughs> det är också bra. Så fort du har någon, om, du, om du känner någon som säger att han kör via Tornado Cash. Fråga vad han håller på med. 
advantageous aspect of it is privacy and it's like if you really cared about privacy using cryptocurrency you'd be using one of the priv privacy tokens right because you basically sign up for having your entire uh, financial history of, of using crypto whenever you use bitcoin eth a lot of these crypto tokens binance smart chain so whenever you look at somebody's like eth wallet or their address or whatever and you see the word tornado cash it they're probably a criminal i'd say in like nine times out of ten maybe one out of ten is that crazy guy who's like oh i i steal wi-fi only from mcdonald's and i live in the woods and i use a phone i made myself with my solder and iron and, and like seven <laughs> pens that I stole from the bank like maybe that guy is doing it but at the same time he's probably not using crypto in the first place because it's not anonymous it, it never has been and uh, it probably never will be there was obviously like that for earlier years in bitcoin people like oh it's the anonymous anonymous way to use money it, it, it never was they figured it out uh, and now it's basically like a layman can just open a website and type in your address so then they just see where all your money goes to and from so today the u.s department of the treasury office of foreign assets control oh fuck oh fuck we've been scammed sanctioned virtual currency mix of tornado cash which has been used to launder more than seven billion dollars worth of virtual currency since its creation in 2019 and this has gone up every year um like doubled in in some years this includes over 455 million dollars stolen by the lazarus group a democratic people's republic of korea state-sponsored hacking group that was sanctioned by the us in 2019 in the largest known virtual currency heist to date i've got a video on this uh, you should go watch it it's a in-depth look at exactly what happened with the the hack this is the hack referring to axie infinity the biggest cryptocurrency game at the time and um, the ronin bridge that they created exactly how the hack happened and i also have another video that is a documentary style on the lazarus group as a hacking entity um, and basically their history how they came to be known all the way back to i think 2009 till present day they've been responsible for some of the largest attacks that we've ever seen uh, huge ransomware attacks uh, that shut down hospitals across the world etc uh, they hacked sony or at least they are credited for hacking sony that one's a little bit iffy whether they did they hacked cryptocurrency multiple times they attacked the american government uh, simultaneously with the south korean government um in multiple attacks that they always have really weird names like operation dark soul uh, of course being soul the Korea, uh, south korean city uh, and weird like things like that like as a crypto dude so don't don't you have a lot of copyright infringement for soccer dark souls city or assassin's creed city as like man kommer inte att för evigt kunna komma undan med sånt här. Det, det, det är helt omöjligt. De är så jävla pantade allihopa. <laughs> bom, bom, bom. Operation Rainfall. Interesting names. Makes me feel like a spy when I... Uh when I make those videos. Tornado Cash was subsequently used to launder more than $96 million in malicious cyber actors funds derived from the June 24th, 2022 Harmony Bridge heist and at least $7.8 million from the August 2nd, 2022 Nomad heist. Today's action is being uh, taken pursuant to Executive Order 13694 as amended and followed... Holy shit, what's that? 96 million of... 96 million dollar... Uh, Harmony Bridge Heist and at least 7.8 million. Jesus Christ, we can have a penny on the front of them. OFAX May 6, 2022 designation a virtual currency mixer Blender.io. So I've not really heard that much about Blender.io, but I assume from the name you just blend in your money, right? You're just cleaning your money. Today's Treasury is sanctioning services. Tornado Cash, a virtual currency mixer that launders the proceeds of cyber crimes, including those committed against victims in the okay. United States, said Under Secretary of the Treasury for Terrorism. Oh my God, I've just been demonetized. And financial intelligence, Brian <laughs> E. Nelson. Despite public assurances otherwise, Tornado Cash has repeatedly failed to impose effective controls designed to stop it from laundering funds for malicious cyber actors on a regular basis and without basic measures to address its risks. Treasury will continue to aggressively pursue actions against mixers that launder virtual currency for criminals and those who assist them. So the response to this, according to social media, has been fairly pathetic, in my opinion. Uh, a lot of the cryptocurrency bros, a lot of the people who don't understand that 
that Tornado Cash exists in is bad and <clears> makes <throat> crypto look bad uh, have been sending cryptocurrency to Tornado Cash and then withdrawing it and, and trying to send the money to like Jesus Christ Det finns så många vi bo- som borde kunna åka på det här Intressant <clears throat> like influencers and celebrities and things like that like they they think it's that what what's going to happen i don't i don't understand the premise of why they're doing it but i don't understand a lot of the things that crypto bros do to be honest uh this is obviously bad and the government are always going to crack down on things like that because there'll there'll always be somebody within the government within a federal agency that looks at this and sees terrorism i've said the word again i probably have to um censor it but it's the ism that is very terrible right if you get what i'm saying if you catch my drift they did this with the silk road when the silk road originally was just selling drugs which eventually they were also selling guns and things like that the whole idea of of what was being said by the the main account the admin was you can sell anything on here there was poison you know at some point you could buy cyanide and you could just buy like the precursors to making I, I can't can i even say these words to making things that explode and stuff like that um you could buy all the chemicals and stuff because the idea being it was just a marketplace where you wasn't judged so long as you wasn't selling like pornographic images of, of miners or something like that you could sell most things on the silk road they even tried to make different websites to sell guns and things like that and what people within the government said to really get them to go after the silk road and really pursue it harder than they were before is just imagine that the <clears throat> people on silk road are using american internet service providers to connect to an american built service the dark web was built by the navy in like 2002 or something like that um to use the us postal system to transport dangerous chemicals to people on american soil who could then use those things in an attack on america so you're using all the things america made to attack america and they always link these things back to to terror because you know it's just the way it works so when you've got a um money laundering service that can send money to nation states that could perform attacks and have in the past performed attacks on america uh, and America's allies, like South Korea, and obviously a lot of these are... Ja, men uh, vad bra, men vi behöver inte se så mycket mer där. Uh, men USA går i alla fall hårt mot kry- krypto nu. 